Hey guys, it's tea time with Tony time. All right, um, so today we are gonna talk about something a little bit different, um, definitely fashion related. But I kinda wanna talk about the intimidation that you feel when you walk into a place that you feel like you don't belong. Um, <laughs> so I, I guess this is about 15 years ago. Um, that time I was carrying my coach bags that I was so proud of, and not to knock coach, I'm not knocking coach at all because Coach has made a comeback. Like the Coach store was kind of right across from the Louis Vuitton store. And I would always look at the Louis Vuitton store every time I was in the Galleria Mall and be like, man, um, I really want a Louis Vuitton bag. I didn't have any idea how much a bag cost. I just knew it was gonna be a lot more than a Coach bag. Um, so I started saving money. And it took me about four or five months. And um, Back then, like the internet wasn't as popping as it is today. It was an intimidating experience. And finally I got the kahunas big enough to like walk in there. And um, I kind of looked around. I definitely did not go for the biggest thing in there or the most fancy bag. My eyes were looking, but I kept my focus on the things that looked like I could probably afford them. Um, so there's this one little bag and had a little zipper on top and it was, you know, about yay big, had a little strap. And I was like, okay, this might be in my price range. And so sure enough, she picks it up, lets me see it. And I'm like, oh, it's really cute. And you know, had some hardware on it, the zipper. She takes a little price tag out and it was like right around $800, maybe maybe even 900. I think it was, I think it was like 800 because it was more than a speedy bag. And the speedy bags back then, I think were like six something. This was the bag that I ended up buying. This bag was like roughly $480, somewhere around there, it was under 500. Um, I had just enough to buy it with the tax and she is like almost 15, actually she might be 15 years old. How, yeah, 15, yeah. So anyway, it's just a basic little clutch where you can make the strap shorter or tuck it all the way in and it looks just like a clutch without a strap. Um, no frills about it. It's <laughs> nope, just one little pocket, no zipper in sight. In fact, it only has this one button on the outside just to keep the flap closed. And um, that's it. Any bag with zippers or hardware is gonna drive the price up. So if you're working on attaining you know, your first designer luxury bag, stay away from the zippers or the hardware. And that goes pretty much across, I think, most higher end bags, but there's so much crazy stuff out there. Now you'd, you'd be paying like $1,000 for a cloth. It's like, Ain't nobody here for that, um, but yeah. So anyway, I don't really buy monogram stuff much anymore, but I'm never getting rid of this bag. Like when I did my big blog sale and I was getting rid of like a lot of bags that I don't carry anymore, you notice this one was never on there. And it's because she was my first and that's my baby. Not, not getting rid of her. Yeah. Anyway, if you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you like the tea time with Tony's, you know, give me a thumbs up so I'll know to keep doing them. Um, just little fun little tidbits to help you get to know me a little bit more. So if you have a similar story to share, uh, maybe your words are encouragement for somebody else, please feel free to um, share as much as you, you want. Also in the comments section, if there is a tea time topic that you would like me to cover or talk about, um, please put that down there because sometimes I run out of ideas. I mean, I have a lot of ideas, but I don't know if it's like stuff that you want to hear about. Like, I don't even know if you care about my little bag, but I'm sharing her. I'm a dork.